For more videos on people's struggles, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. A Saudi terror court sentenced a former Red Crescent employee, Abdul Rahman Al Sadun, to 20 years in prison and a two decade travel ban. He is believed to have been convicted for operating an anonymous Twitter account critical of the Saudi regime. Abdul Rahman Al Sadun was arrested in March 2018 from Red Crescent's Riyadh office without a warrant. His trial was finally announced last month and in less than a month, the sentence was pronounced. According to Middle East Thai, the exact grounds for Abdul Rahman's conviction have not been revealed. His trial is believed to be related to the anonymous Twitter account from which he used to comment on human rights issues in Saudi Arabia. He was also critical of the policies of Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman. Human rights groups and activists called the trial of Abdul Rahman a sham and demanded his immediate release. The news of his conviction was announced by his sister Arij al Sadhan on her Twitter account on Monday. In February, Arij had reported that Saudi officials had failed to charge him with anything and he would be released soon. However, on March 10th, she said that Abdul Rahman will face a secret trial in the same court where Lujain al Hatlul was tried. Lujain, a women's rights activist, was sentenced to jail for nearly six years, but part of her sentence was suspended and she was released eventually. Saudi Arabia has one of the worst records on freedom of speech and expression. People use anonymous Twitter accounts in the country to express their disapproval of government policies due to the fear of persecution. According to reports, data related to thousands of such anonymous users was handed over to the Saudi government by two Twitter employees in 2015. A massive crackdown was launched by the state against the account holders following this.